This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at rate of radioactive decay. The rate of radioactive decay can be expressed in terms of either the radioactive half-life or the radioactive decay constant. This equation, which is given in the data booklet, shows the relationship between the half-life and the decay constant. The half-life is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by the decay constant, which is equal to 0.693 divided by the decay constant and the decay constant is equal to 0.693 divided by the half-life. The decay of radioactive isotopes is a first order reaction, where the rate equals the decay constant multiplied by the amount of isotope at time t. Here we have the integrated form of the rate equation, where lambda is the decay constant, n is the amount of sample remaining at time t, and n0 is the original amount of sample at time equals zero. Next we look at an example. A radioisotope has a decay constant of 0.015 minutes to the negative 1. Calculate the mass of a 2 gram sample that remains after 20 minutes. To solve this we'll use the integrated form of the rate equation. So we have the mass at time equals 0, the rate constant and the time in minutes. When we multiply these two together we get negative 0.30. Next we have n over 2.00 equals e to the negative 0.30 which is equal to 0.74 which gives us a mass of sample remaining of 1.48 grams. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5730 years. Calculate how long it will take for a sample of carbon-14 to decay to 20% of its original activity. First we calculate the decay constant. Next we'll use the integrated form of the rate equation. So we have the natural log of 20 over 100, where 20 is 20% 20 of the original activity, which is 100%. And this is equal to negative the decay constant multiplied by the time. When we solve for t, this gives a time of 1.33 times 10 to the 4 years. Our final example involves carbon dating. An ancient sample of wood has an activity of 7.0 counts per minute. A sample of fresh wood has an activity of 15.3 counts per minute. Estimate the age of the wood. So once again we use the integrated form of the rate equation. We have the original activity at time equals zero and the activity at time t. We also have the decay constant from the previous example. When we solve the equation we get a time of 6.45 times 10 to the 3 years. 